PCDM, and welcome back to Minecraft. I'm going to teach you how to use and build my PMLCT, Progressive Memory Latch Clock Timer, which I designed and built by myself, with a little help from one of my friends called Jeff Bobo. That is his username on the internet. Okie dokie. So, basically what this is, is a Progressive Memory Latch. It locks latches, these RS NORs, my design of course, into the off position or a certain position until the one before it has been deactivated. So or activated, depending on how you look at it. So currently, depending on how you look at it, this is an off state, as is that and that and that and that. And <coughs> the first progressive memory latch or latch keeps the second one on due to this repeater which has a 0.4 delay programmed into it making it so that after this one changes that one still retains the charge locking that one for a period of time necessary for the pulse which to activate only this one which I will get into later now this basically counts it can be used for anything but it currently counts so this is one, two, three, four, and five. And the fifth torch uh, sends a pulse down into the reset lane, which resets all the no all the RS nors or latches, and res and makes it so the count is zero. And this the uh, progressive memory latch took a while to figure out, even though it's quite simple <laughs> to be honest. But anyways. So, this is the manual reset lane, and that is the automatic reset lane. So, I, I, but I will get into that later. The thing that makes this entire thing go around, the entire redstone contraption work, the thing that it would not work without at all, is this falling edge detector, which Jeff Bobo showed me. He gave me a bigger version, and I sized it down. This thing no matter how long of a pulse is introduced into it will only emit a 0.1 pulse into what out of this torch no matter how long of a pulse is put into this side and that is what makes this work because if a longer pulse is put into this activator trigger pulse transport lane thing then two of these will activate I'll show you for example um, here we go I'll just do that See? Two of them activated instead of one. It counted from one to two instead of just one. So that is what this does. Now, there are two types of clocks that can be hooked up to this thing, although pretty much any clock can be hooked up to it. Anything that emits a pulse can be hooked up to this and into this redstone contraption, which is the progressive memory latch part of this PMLCT. This part is the clock timer part. Now, this is just a regular, you know, repeater um, clock, which is activated using this button after I put that there, because I'm an idiot. So there we go. Okay, so it automatically does that. Now, this thing here, um, uh, stop, thank you. What the hell is going on? Okay, give me a little bit, guys. Um, I seem to be having some technical difficulties. There we go. Oh my god. What is giving it power? Ah, there we go. That's the problem. decided to be a dork. Ah, oh, oh my god. Okay, just there. Just do that. <sighs> okay, you know what? Start over. Stop the clock. There. Yes, okay. <sighs> so this is... <sighs> um, I 
trying to figure out what was doing this. I bet it was that torch, though. Yep, that was it. It was the torch. So we put the sand back in, and there we go. Now we don't have a messed up um, time clock. <sighs> so back to what I was saying. This clock can be hooked up to, and any clock can be hooked up to this counter, and this counter can be stacked infinitely. The only thing you must, absolutely must, make sure is that this thing, the edge, falling edge detector, has to be at the ex at the very end of the progressive memory latch, because otherwise it just won't work. See these repeaters? They lock each segment. So this segment's one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see, they all fire at once. The only thing is, if this is not at the end, it will make a bunch of them fire that shouldn't have been fired and it will just mess up the whole thing. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so there's the clock, nothing special at all. However, this clock is necessary to start the time clock, which using five minute delays can count in literal real world time. Yeah, it's that good. It uses the decay of blocks, which is a five minute decay rate, to <coughs> trigger the counter. So, um, where did I remove? There we go. That needs to go there. Okay. So we are ready. There we go. Um, I'll just reset this and put the sand back in and get rid of the stupid weather. Okie dokie. So, this clock trigger will start the clock, which goes into this AND gate. And when the clock thing is turned off, it turns, it triggers this that outputs three blocks. So, if you want to count how many times this thing will uh, run around in a circle, in a loop, just times how many, just uh, divide how many blocks are in here by three, and then you have the answer. So, I think, I don't know what that is, doesn't matter. <coughs> now, when this, the when the blocks get on the pressure plate, the pressure plate provides power to this, which turns off this torch, which turns off this lane, which enables this torch completely locking out the AND gate and not giving this thing any more charge until it <coughs> until the blocks decay. In which case, the, this torch will turn off again and it will wait for the clock to cycle around and turn off this torch, in which case a pulse will be triggered to the d dispenser which will start the time clock again. So I'm going to start up the clock and we shall count to five. I'm going to accelerate time while looking at these torches so you can see that the thing actually works. Okie dokie. Um, and here we go. And as you can see, it signaled one. So we shall wait.
you've seen it in action. But now I have to tell you how to build it. So, you start off with, obviously, my basic redstone nor design. Like this. Okay, so. And then you attach a point four tick. Uh, repeater tick. And then this. Then you keep repeating this. Forever. And ever. For as long as you want to count to. Each are at each uh, latch is a number and depending on the type of clock hooked up to it you can count in real time or in a time you set so it's pretty dang useful all right Ooh. um okay so the side oh shit no 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 bad creeper bad bad See if I have butcher. No shit. Um. Okay, you know what? You you come here, and you're gonna blow up in the water. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well. Um. Here's my stuff. I forgot I wasn't on multiplayer and didn't have my god mode. Okay, so, whatever. Hey, creeper. You're gonna pay for what your friend did. Okay. So, remember that the reset lane has to... Oh, it's all messed up now. The reset lane has to be on the side, which has the linking repeaters. These. Which would be this side in this case and the insert side or the input side has to have these link these redstone wires after the repeaters before the redstone ores or it just won't work do not ask me why i'm not completely sure but that is pretty much it and you can extend this as far as the eye can see and the redstone will update accordingly Etc. Okie dokie. Well, this is T TCGM, and uh, signing off. See you later.